Welcome back to Two Minute Civics. So today we're gonna to be learning about two types of government. 3.1, comparing different forms of government, but today we're just gonna focus on democracy versus monarchy. Democracy started back in ancient Greece over 2,500 years ago, where people actually had power. And that's what democracy means, people have the power. It actually comes from the Greek words, demos, which means people, and kratos, which means power. So in a democracy, people have the power. And there are two types of democracies. Okay, the first one is called a direct democracy. And that is when all the people get together and they make decisions directly on issues. So that's what ancient Greece was like. The citizens, the male citizens would get together in the town square and they would make decisions directly. And that's why it's called direct democracy. Now that sounds really amazing, right? Everybody getting to make decisions. But could you imagine all of the people in America going to Washington DC DC and trying to make decisions together. That would be almost impossible. There's so many people, there'd be a lot of cooks in the kitchen. So we have a solution it's for that. A representative democracy, AKA a republic, AKA an indirect democracy. So in a representative democracy, people still have the power. That hasn't changed. But the difference is all of these people are not going to make the decisions. They are going to elect leaders that are gonna come out they choose the leaders, and then those leaders are going to make the decisions for the people. Now, let's say you pick leaders that don't make the right decisions and they do the bad things. Well, then it's the right of the people to then replace the leaders that they chose and choose new leaders. So democracy sounds great, right? But the United States wasn't always a democracy. We actually used to be a monarchy. What a monarchy is, it's when a king or queen has the power. Usually, the king or queen inherits power. Inherit means when Let's say a king has passed away and now they need to find, figure out who the new king is. Usually they're gonna pass the power down to the son. Um, so inherit just means it's passed down through family ties. Now, there are two types of monarchies, okay? The absolute monarchy, so this is back in medieval times, most of the kings had all of the power. They were absolute, they could chop off people's heads, they could do whatever they wanted. Type of monarchy is called a constitutional monarchy. Now, this is when you still have a king but the king has to share power and is limited by the constitution. So for example, King John in the year 1215, he was told that he would have to give up some of his power to the nobles in order for him to stay king. And so he had to sign a document called the Magna Carta, which gave people more power. And that is the difference between a democracy and a monarchy. Question, who rules? If it's the people, it's democracy. If you ask the question who rules and the answer is a king or queen, it's a monarch. If you want to know how they rule, how do the people rule, they're making decisions on their own, then that's a direct democracy. And if they are electing leaders, then that is a representative democracy. For this one, you can ask how much power does the king have? If they have all the power, that's absolute. If they have limited power, then that's constitutional.